James getting a bit panicky because it's been a while since we've done this. James thoughts? Yes, panicky. 17, 17th Boy Stuff Show? This is, is this the 17th? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Got some rain on there because sunny Cyprus is not so sunny today. Yeah, this is the 17th Boy Stuff yeah. Show. How many have you been to? I think I've been to most of them to be honest. I, I can't remember, I was telling you, have we been to the first one? Man, I can't remember. I can't remember. Whenever I was here, it's Christo all the way from Bafo. Rose. Have a look. There you go. What's going on? Walking past the Texaco stand here, all the guys will come and chat with Angelina and Maria a little bit Check later on. Let's cart the show. Look at this. Look at this. It's insane. I saw it last night. The coolest car to show by oh. S15 Rocket Bunny Conversion VG30 DE T, I'd say at this point, because it's got one turbo. Looking ridiculous. Nick's been building this thing for a couple of years. I'm so glad to finally see it here. And whenever he posted anything about it on Facebook, I'm like, Nick, when are we gonna see it, man? Now seeing it, anybody that knows anything about Nissan engines, VG30 engines are where it's at. There's the man himself. He's trying to act all cool over there. Nick. There he is, there he is, there he is. Nick, tell us a little bit about the what, what do we call it? S14, S15 Vapor Racing Project? S14.5. S14.5, I like it. There we go. It's about 1000 plus horsepower. Standard stroke 3 litre VG or 3.3? 3.3. Matt, it's not structure engine. Okay, I got you, I got you. It's a good car. We hope that with the next year that we release. Fantastic. We look forward to seeing this thing burning some rubber and anger. Fantastic. Nick, thank you. We'll catch up with you a little bit later. Thank you so much. Guys, check this engine out. The cleanest engine bay by far in the drift scene in Cyprus. Okay, it hasn't raced yet, so it will get dirty, but look how cool that setup is. That's Christo's car that you guys saw Christo a few minutes ago when we came in. It's an R32, R34 front end. RB26, actually, I say R32, this car is actually a GTR. Uh, used to be run Yes, by guys, you heard that. It's a GTR they turned into a drift car. There's a few GTRs in Cyprus that were, well, they were GTRs, and when drag racing was still at its peak, they were kind of getting prepped for drag racing, and then when drifting got big, they just became rear wheel drive projects in the drift championship. This one, Andros uh, Andonius one, Stavron Astamas one, Mario Theodosius one. This one though, I've been hounding Christo about it for about a year because he's got all of the bits that make it a GTR. I've been hounding him to put it back to original because it's almost at the, at the a couple of years away basically, but one or two from being able to register it as an antique. And because it's a GTR, I've, I've told him, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, when it comes to drift cars, when the bad thing's gonna happen. Hopefully, he's starting to warm to the idea, so we'll see. We have the cleanest Supra example on the island. Mustaga's MK4 Toyota Supra. What is it, James? Is that Super, yo? Super, that's, a, that's an A90. No, oh, it's not an A90, it's an A80. I'm starting to get the numbers confused. Yeah, this is true. We're starting to put a lot of work into this over a couple of years. We'll try to catch him later on when he's actually here so he can pop the engine bay for us. Maybe, can't guarantee it, but the engine bay on this thing's pretty sweet. There's his engine bay, we promise we show it to you. Very nice. Turbo! So guys, we're here with Alexandra Fasaria from Fasarias Automotive. Did I get that right? Fasarias yes, Automotive, fantastic, I got that right. See si Fasarias Automotive. Not the first time we've seen her on interview, but she's always gracious enough to give us an interview at every one of these shows. Alexandra, tell us a bit about the show this year and you guys stand. I don't think this is very representative of the of the people that are going to come, of the visitors that we can expect this weekend because there's a rally spring going on today, yeah. so everyone's over there. But. Um, uh, when it comes to visitors, it's it's a bit weird right now, but I expect it to really pick up yeah. later on. You it was know, raining. Saturday. It was fine when we got here. It was well. raining as well. But you know, exhibition-wise, there's there's amazing, amazing uh, kiosks, the amazing exhibits, and okay, we're here. You know, every year, it's always a Standard pleasure picture. to come back. You you know, 
this is not an event you can miss. Yeah. Because, you know, um, absence speaks volumes when it comes to events like this, but, you know, we're still here, we're still active, so we want to give our own presence right, 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 in this right. year's show as well. Um, we have OMP, we have ABAC, yeah. we have Billstrom, we have Pendles, we have whole bunch of accessories and sprays and magical potions on this stand here. Some of which I've used, they truly are magical. Don't ask me what, what is in them, it's sorcery, it's madness. Yeah, people call and they say, you put any more of that medicine? <laughs> <laughs> All that good stuff. Alexandra, yeah. thank you so much for your time. We'll let thank you get you. back to your lunch. Thank, thank you. you. So we'll speak soon. Bye. Thank you. We're at Shushalav, and they are the sponsor of Alexis Hari's S15 2JZ drift car. You've seen a couple of the videos that we've already done on this car. Since it's had the 2J in the DCT update though, you haven't seen it. So this is probably a car that we're gonna have to do a follow up on and Harry's gonna get his what? Third, third video? Third, third, third video. video, yeah. Lots changed in the last year. 2J, DCT7, flappy paddle gearbox. Uh, those are the major updates. So most of the time we can't keep up with Harry because Something new is always going on this car. These cool shishas in rims and suspensions and all of this by Shisha Lab, pretty cool. That is so crazy. He's got his own Nargile built into his cup holder. And when he's drifting sideways, he's also smoking out of the Nargile because he's absolutely crazy like that. Next stand along, we got Sodiri and George. So I did it from SP Easy Way, he comes and he does uh, services on the spot, battery changes, all that kind of good stuff. He's an on-call mechanic. We've got Cristo Loizu's drift car. It's been three, four months. This car's always having stuff done to it. Cristo's always up to something. It's got some naked ladies on it this weekend. And everybody, everybody that helps him out. Tool Warehouse, Gemanes, Kiris. We've got Omega One, Manito. We got everything, SPG team 2016. Everything Hashtag. except the J spot because I forgot to bring him stickers. He's gonna have us for that, but we'll sort it out. It's not be good. S13, this car was actually a great buy for Perusto because it's a car that I had a hand in a lot of the parts that came for it. It's about 500 horsepower. Christo has a decent idea of what he's doing when it comes to drifting. You need more practice, Christo, more practice. So here we have an S13, and of course, an owner of an S13 cannot be at a car show without fixing stuff for his S13! So there is that. I want problems. <laughs> so guys, here we got one of the head honchos of Safi's auto parts in Cyprus. As you guys know, one of the biggest auto parts suppliers in Cyprus. Premium brand, spare parts, aftermarket, they can pretty much cover anything and everything. I won't tell us a little bit about uh, what are you guys doing this year? This year we're ready for action. Uh, we're waiting for you all guys to come and visit us. Uh, as you can see, we have the agnostic. Uh, we have the NAOs, the motor oil. Uh, we have the team ready. Uh, just visit us and all the information that you will need, you will have it directly from us. Fantastic. Just a few more shots of this Miata as I'm running out of battery. Here we've got Dimoteos Auto Body Limited. Now Dimoteos, he has painted every single car at Afna Speedway. We've got a GTR 35 right here, a Mercedes and that insane SRT right there. Absolutely crazy. Some nice Nissans here. Over here we've got a really nice clean DC2. Nice S2K here. Followed by, I think this is HP Motorsports RX7. Yeah, I think it is very close one. I'm pretty sure that this has got an SR20 as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. SR20 RX7 right there. So guys, we've done an episode for this car, seriously sideways. This car is currently up for sale. Sorry about the music in the background. If you want to buy this car, head over. His name is Harris, 995-21313. Check him out. This car has a lot more on it since we did the episode on it. Because we did the episode, I think about a year after he got it. 
he's done some carbon trims, I think he's done intercooler, intake pipes, a few things. Hardy takes care of his stuff though, and I think whoever gets this car is going to be happy with it. The A86 of John Modesto. James has a very strong opinion about these cars. Coca-Cola cans with an engine, he says. I would love to rag on one of these things and blow it up. Yeah. Look at his unimpressed face. <laughs> Look at that toolbox, people. It's got actual wheels on it with a proper... That thing's insane. This is the kind of thing that you need for your car at the track. Yeah, I will pull it with the rat trap and when I break down in the track, it's behind me ready. Yeah, it's something like There's Christo over there. I'll tell you, Christo, what I really like as a present. Let me quickly show you. This. I want this toolbox. It's amazing. It's J-Spot colors. It's purple. It's got little rims on it that are so cool. And inside the inserts, I don't know if this one is open. Oh, it's black. But inside the inserts of this one, it's turquoise. J-Spot colors. Okay, first of all, tell us your impressions of boy stuff this year. Where are you guys at Actually, in general? Actually, I think this year is one of the best years because there's a lot of like big companies uh, that brought their cars and there's a more general like stuff that you can come and see. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. So guys, if you ever wanted anything from Tool Warehouse, you can hit them up on Facebook, Instagram, our website. website www.toolwarehouse.com.cy guys and check them out. Check that out. Yeah, let's go see that next. So guys, what we've got here is the Tornado Racing Evo 9. Evo 9, yeah. For a lot of people, this is a brand new car, fresh build. For myself and a few other people that were involved in this car, it's a car that we know very well. It's a car that I've personally known since it's come to Cyprus. This right here is Kipro Cristolulu's XQ8 Time Attack Evo. Really? James has made it some proper crazy faces. I right did there. not know it was his old car. Man, Laga, really? Really, really, really. This car is Gipro Q8 Gemstar Racing's old Time Attack Evo. It was originally built by Marios at CMM. He, know, he knew every nut and bolt on that car back when it was blue, back when it was a street car, and then when it became a Time Attack car. This car is now the Tornado Racing Evo 9. Marios pulled it to pieces one bolt at a time and rebuilt it completely the way you see it now. This car is nuts. Not a single expense has been spared on it. Marios is over at Red Scorpion now. He did all of the work on it pretty much that went through his hands. Everything else came from the best parts company and the best people that could do anything and everything that they could on it. This is it and we look forward to seeing it in action. Sepkis BMW Drift Car. Winner at Ceres. Winner at Ceres. Congratulations bro, you all made us proud and you shredded then. Mr. Nismo's 300ZX there. He's been in a few of our other videos. Yeah, boy. Ella Coco in the house. Haveline, Texago. Again, guys, don't miss out. Akna Speedway, 10 until 5, 4th and 5th of December for the last round of the Cyprus Championship. They're doing the Cyprus Championship, the last race a little bit different than normal. On Saturday we have a good day of practice and a, a good day of qualifying and then the twins come on Sunday. Got Ella Gogo's race suit right there. One of the coolest stands at the show, not only because they have Ella Gogo's drift car, but the actual uh, stall is really cool. Look at this Texago custom sign they made. I mean, it's pretty sick. I wouldn't mind getting that myself. Guys, we're here with Angelina from Texaco. You guys have met her before in our videos. Uh, we love the company, we love the brand, everything that they do. Angelina, this is you guys and SJ Vasiliadis' first year yeah. at the show. Tell us your impressions. Uh, well, it's an amazing feeling to be here. As James said, it's our first time in Boista. So we're really excited. Um, have a look at our booth. And we also have Ella Coco's car 
Have you seen it? Yes, we've seen it. Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, we're here with Hexacom, our uh, main brand. So I hope you enjoy it. Lots of bike shops over there, lots of e-bikes. Over here we have some more racing bikes. The e-bikes are very popular in Cyprus at the moment. All the delivery drivers are buying them everywhere. everywhere. They're kind of terrifying me because they're really quiet. You can only hear them as they clatter over speed bumps. That Hayabusa is quite wild. Look at that. Other bikes here. We've got the Daddy right here. We've got Kawasaki. Uzvarna, which is Jackie's, I think. All the nice Kawasaki bikes in green. We've got Honda over there. Polikarpu is not around. We were going to bring you a small interview with Polikarpu. At this point in time, I was going to walk up to the Honda booth and be like, Christos Polikarpu, who does the commentary with me on the live stream for the drifting, and then get him to say some stuff. But he's not here. So, Christo, this is us telling you that you had your shot for a video interview and you didn't get it. So you're gonna have to wait until next year or until we hound you at the drifting again. Nice to see the dealerships come to the Boy Staff show. More of you guys should be here. I would love this bike. Honda, if you wanna sponsor us, I'll definitely drive that around Nicosia and advertise it to everybody. So guys, we're back, we're at the Honda stand we're with Christo, we couldn't catch him before because he was at lunch, but we got him now. And Christo, tell us your impressions of this year's show and the first year here as Honda Cyprus. Actually, we're very happy because we are participating for the first time uh, uh, since Galadariotis uh, in the, uh, the distributor, the main distributor of Honda in Cyprus. Okay, we are so happy actually because we are doing a very good presentation in, uh, in the Boy Staff Show 2021. You know, because of COVID... Uh, it's good to be back. Yeah, it's good to, it's be, good back. to be back. Here at the Boy Staff Show, we bring uh, 12 of our best models. Okay, in Honda, you know, we are moving forward, we're looking very, very far. And uh, that's it. Fantastic. Christo, thank you for your time. A pleasure as always. See you soon. See you guys on the 5th of December. Fourth, fourth and 5th of December now. Him on CableNet, me on the live stream on Facebook. 4th and 5th? 4th and 5th. We'll be there. 4th and 5th. And don't forget the time attack, which is going to be on the 15th. And also next week, you've got the last round of the hit climb, which I'm racing as well. Here you go, Christos racing the hill climb. That's Cyprus for you. Loaded motorsport calendar all year round. Ridiculous. I think everybody will be happy for the winter break. We'll catch you soon. Christo, thank you again. A very nice stall from Honda at the Boy Staff show. Mr. Jackie, you haven't given me one of these Polaris to test out. Maybe because I'm a little bit dangerous behind the steering wheel, but it's going to be great. Jackie, tell us a little bit about what you guys are up to this year. You're a staple every year at the shows. Uh, um, yes, we, we, we're here again this year, uh, you can see our booth, uh, you can see some, some new bikes, uh, the new Indians. Gorgeous, I'm not a bike guy, but that Indian is gorgeous. Yeah, that, that's the new uh, Scout Bopper 20, then you can see also uh, a new floor, that's a carbon model, that's a limited edition. Crazy Hayabusa is here like always. In Cyprus, there's a lot of... Oh! It's Mr. Loizos who used to come to Akhna Speedway. Wow, it's been so many years since I've seen him. They used to do all the drag racing from Loizos' performance down in Larnaca. And all of his guys riding crazy Hayabusas with uh, long psalidi. I don't know what you call it at the back, the scissors bit. Extended. We've got turbos. We've got bikes running nitrous. Man, these bikes are sick. They're so fast. Great to see you, bro. A nice Mini Cooper right here with a half cut of a Mini. I'd like to do this with the Sylvia, to be honest. Some Rovers here. This beautiful Celica. I like these old school Celicas. They're so cool. Look at this. And they drive them around in Cyprus, these cars. There's another one that he drives it around a lot. We've got George Gagulli's Morris Minor. There's a video of this car on the J-Spot and there's a cool story behind this car and behind the person. Make sure you check it out. 
some beetles and a mini with Lamborghini doors. I mean, there's the other Celica right at the end there. I'll bring you a quick shot of it. Look how cool that looks, guys. That's absolutely gorgeous. We checked this out yesterday and he's got his mirrors strapped to the spare tire. It's pretty insane. Nice BMWs, some nice E30s, very clean examples. Nice soft top right there. Look at that, it's such a great example. Look how clean that is. Let's move this rope a little bit so we can get a bit of a... Look at that! That's immaculate. There's another Jaguar type over there and there's a lovely Bordeaux red Porsche that we can't really get close to. Not as many classic cars as other years, but still a good turnout of cars at the show and some really prime examples of classic cars. Check that out. It's beautiful. I bet these are quite pricey. And the BMW Alpina in the background there is actually at the BMW dealership. That's the classic car area, and we exit next to a nice Ford Cosworth. Very nice. E39 M5? No, not E39 M5. It's got an M5 engine, can't remember which one. It's madness. Yes, people, it was a real Bavaria. I know. Everybody says it. Every time they come to the event, they're like, hey, was that a real Bavaria? Yes, it was. We've got uh, Lekos Hasigos drift car here, E30 running. What engine, James? I know nothing about BMWs. Uh, it's a 3 litre BMW turbo. Turbo! Then we've got Vasilis Christoforou E30 with a twin turbo, 2JZ. And uh, he's pretty good. Vasilis is very good. He's been gaining a lot of uh, drift practice and experience through the last season. Can't wait to see what he does next year. Vasilis Christoforou, people. Come down on Sunday to Carbox in Nicosia and check out a nice show that will be happening. We have some VWs right here. Maybe the VW Club. Oh, James, your favorite cars. <laughs> To be fair, I give them a lot of hate, but when you were not going to talk about the ones down that end, but from that one onwards, I don't want to say I wouldn't mind owning them, I wouldn't mind owning that one, to be fair. Yeah, that one right there, he's talking about. It's the spider, is it? What it's called? 8C. 8C. So you see, I don't know what I'm talking about. These two, I wouldn't mind owning them if I wasn't paying for the repair. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have. Demio Gang, as I was told yesterday. Got some really tidy Demios if you're into that thing. They've got merch and everything, these people. Then we come around to some Scoobies right here, some nice Subarus. I do like the white one. I don't like so much the bug-eyed one. Then we have Kick Down Cypress, they've brought down some cars. Got this lovely GT86, absolutely beautiful. MX-5, nice E30. Land Cruiser Club. I mean, they're all really nice examples. I wouldn't mind owning any of these. Especially this one with the, I think it's a Rome Cypress tent, I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. Some, got the Patrol Club, that's absolutely crazy, but look at this beast. Whenever I see these big trucks, I always think they're like robots or something, like a transformer or something. That's really nice as well. I don't know guys if you can see, but this is Bordeaux red, and it's got Raptor paint on the sides, which is really nice. And it's beautiful, it's very clean. I wonder if this guy goes off-roading because it's so clean. Sick. 
Oh, that MX5 is quite nice as well. That's a proper orange KTM right there. Yeah, Rome Cyprus, I saw them on Facebook. Rome Cyprus, right? Yep, yeah, it is. Really cool tents, and it's so cool to see these in Cyprus finally, especially after I've just bought a van to make into a motorhome. We could be rocking one of these on the roof. It's, uh, it's about time we had this, because we have so many cool places to go in Cyprus, and camping should be, become more popular as well. Look how cool that is. I saw a lot of things about his van conversion. Yeah, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, but I'd rather have that. You could definitely stay in that, guys. Look at that, plenty of space. In the summer, you get a fan, USB, and a battery bank. And you're good to go. And you wake up at the beach, and then you go for a swim if you're hot. Pretty cool, people. Check them out. But it's really cool. Comes down to Akhna Speedway a lot. It's just been rebuilt. Can't wait to see you at Akhna Speedway, bro. Got another sick MX-5 here. Now, this is pretty cool. Range Rover, completely flat to the floor. Crazy body kit, carbon fiber. And some moves that are only like probably 20 feet. And doesn't that look like the logo of Cypress Airways? <laughs> Crazy bonnet, I do like this. I wouldn't mind driving that every day as a daily drive. Pretty cool. It's that time of the show, people, where people start up their cars and are getting ready to leave. And it's that time when people cannot have their foot away from the gas pedal. There are gonna be pops and bangs soon, fireballs and the occasional burnout on the carpet. Obviously this is not allowed to happen at the show because people can't help themselves. It started! Oh yeah, we got Hattie's 2JZ in the house. saying that it's the outro, it's the outro, it's the outro, but there's just one good burnout after another good burnout. <laughs>